Caitlin Clark, second in all-star voting behind Asia Wilson. Now, we all remember what Diana Taurasi said before Caitlin Clark got drafted in the WNBA. Said that's going to be an adjustment period, but Diana Taurasi name is not even in the top 10 in all-star voting. But before we get off into today's video, tell a friend to tell a friend. Well, it seems like Caitlin Clark might get the last laugh. Y'all remember when Diana Taurasi made her statement early in the year before Caitlin Clark was drafted into the WNBA, said it was going to be an adjustment period. But this rookie sensation has starting to turn his now. She's picked up her play as of late. Um, the Indiana Fever on a win streak. They just got a, a much-needed win against the Atlanta Dream this evening, um, Caitlin Clark put in 16 more points. Um, she is, you know, still turning the ball over at a high clip, but that's what happens when you handle the ball a lot and the pressure's on you and you're making ill-advised passes. You will turn the ball over. But she's second in all-star voting, only behind Asia Wilson. Now, everybody, you know, says that Asia Wilson is the GOAT of the WNBA you know, so far, but Caitlin Clark is starting to turn heads and, you know, all the Caitlin Clark fans are loving it right now. The Caitlin Clark fans are out there now. Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever have turned their season around and we got to give some kudos to Christy Sides as well for really, you know, taking a real good look at, you know, her personnel and changing the offense up a little bit. And that offense is now starting to look like what Christy Sides thought that that offense was going to look like when they drafted Caitlin Clark, the number one pick in the WNBA. So we just got to tip our cap right now. The Indiana Fever are making a big splash, and Caitlin Clark and Aaliyah Boston are getting rewarded for it. Um, their names are up in the top five in the WNBA All-Star voting, which is well-deserved. Um Right now, Asia Wilson and Caitlin Clark lead the early WNBA voting. Now, the Las Vegas Aces, Asia Wilson, and Indiana Fever's teammates, Caitlin Clark and Aaliyah Boston, are in the top three in early fan voting in the WNBA All-Star Game, the league announced Friday. Now, the Chicago Skies, Angel Reese is the other rookie alongside with Clark, who is in the top 10 in fan voting. Now, Wilson, y'all know Asia Wilson. She's a two-time MVP who led the WNBA in scoring at 27.9 points per game and rebounding at 11.3 rebounds a game, has 2,017 and 773 votes. Clark is right behind her, um, the number one draft pick who ranks third in the league in assists at 6.2 assists per game, is second with... 216,427 votes. Now, Boston's last year's top draft pick and rookie of the year is third with 171,864 votes. Now, rounding out the top 10 are two-time MVP Brianna Stewart of the New York Liberty with 1,551,984 1 votes. And the Dallas Wings, Arika Umbawale at 130,838 who is second in the WNBA and scoring at 25.4 point, um, points a game. Now, the next five in voting are the Liberty Sabrina S. Ganu with 1,849 votes. And then Angel Reese, she got 1,118, 490 um, votes. Um, the Aces, Kelsey Plum, then the Minnesota Lynx, um, Nafisha Collier, and then the Los Angeles Sparks, Dorica Hambry. And you know that game will be played in Phoenix on July 20th. Now, how would that be a slap in the face to Deanna Taurasi 
if she doesn't make the all-star game and Caitlin Clark is playing on her home court after all the comments that, you know, Deanna Taurasi said about, you know, Caitlin Clark, which the media, you know, turned that into some real hot takes. And a lot of people ran with it saying that Diana Taurasi was hating on Caitlin Clark. Now it seems like Caitlin Clark might get the last laugh. Now, you know, she's a fan favorite. Um, that game tonight against Atlanta Dream, that was packed, almost like an NBA game. So like I've always stated, she's putting fans in seats. She's the cash cow. Um, but everybody just, Caitlin Clark has a lot of fans. And, you know, they're showing up and they're showing out. And they're tuning in to watch their their darling child, um, Caitlin Clark, play the WNBA. So, you know, these all-star games are almost like a popularity contest. She's very popular. She's doing a lot for the sport. So she's getting a lot of votes. Now, don't be surprised when that second batch comes back that she might be the number one vote getter. Now, she might be the number one vote getter in the WNBA when it's all said and done, when the all-star ballots return for their final results. Um, don't get it mistaken. She might pass up. Um, Asia Wilson, and that goes to show how much popularity that Caitlin Clark has in the WNBA. Um, like I said, I'm here for it. Um, women's game is changing. You know, kudos to, you know, Caitlin Clark for what she's doing. Um, kudos to Angel Reese for what she's doing as well. And like I said, I love that rivalry. Um, this weekend, it's going to be something special like i said them tickets with that third game between angel reese and caitlin clark them tickets are almost up to nine thousand dollars that's going to be a sold out arena out there in chicago so it's going to be really something that everybody wants to tune in and watch like i stated their second rematch um the viewership on that almost three million views across CBS and all these other networks. That was the most viewed game in 23 years in the WNBA. So kudos to Caitlin Clark for what she's doing, putting eyes, you know, on the WNBA, bringing the WNBA back to life, bringing it, you know, to high stakes. Um, the media is all over it. Um, it seems like Caitlin Clark is dominating the headlines. Um, hey, good for the, good for her. Good for her. And good for these women. Good for all the notoriety that these women are getting. Good to see that the WNBA is getting its just dues. It's good to see that the media is all over the coverage of the WNBA and what Caitlin Clark is bringing to the table. But poor Diana Taurasi, she's not in the top 10 in voting. It doesn't look like as of right now, she will be elected to the All-Star Game in her hometown in Phoenix um it's that's something to you know say for what caitlin clark is doing and you know what she has you know brought to the game and how these fans feel about caitlin clark and you know she's getting rewarded with the votes that she's getting only you know a couple thousand behind you know asia wilson so kudos to her for what she's doing you know, not taking nothing away from her. So all you Caitlin Clark fans that be coming in the comments saying that I'm doing a disservice to Caitlin Clark. No, I'm not. I'm just calling it how I see it. But don't forget, give Angel Reese some praise too. Because like I said, with them two together and the way the WNBA is marketing them to be rivals, it's only good for the game. Um, they're bringing a lot of attention and awareness to the WNBA and these women playing this outstanding brand of basketball but also stop coming in the comments talking about christy sides needs to be fired because christy sides has turned that team around when she got the offense going by running that offense through Aaliyah boston you can say what you want to say you can give it to me how you want to give it to me we can all agree to disagree but it's healthy conversation i have nothing against nobody that posts comments saying that i'm hating on caitlin clark and anything like that uh, I appreciate everybody's feedback. I appreciate everybody's comments, man. And that's what a growing channel does, man. Um, I love all the support. Um, your comments mean a lot. 
Um, it's certain things that, you know, we just not going to tolerate, but all is fair. And I appreciate all the comments and I appreciate everybody's knowledge that, you know, posts a comment. So, you know, I just feel bad for Deanna Taurasi because they're going to make it a storyline about everything that she said about Caitlin Clark. And you don't even make the all-star game, but you're on the Olympic team. Think about that. Um, Y'all can take it however you want to take it, but I love to hear from you. And that's going to wrap up another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, KSAP. We're going to catch you on the next one. And remember, on your way out the door, when you put your shoes on, do me a favor. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for listening to the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share on all major platforms.